Haywood County man says his great grandson is alive today thanks to a simple device used to rescue him from choking. Now as News 13's Rex Hodge reports, he wants everybody to get one. Because he keeps me on my toes, don't you, buddy? Danny Buckner looks after his two-year-old great-grandson, David, while his mother works, together finding great adventures around his home near Canton. But last Monday morning, the fun suddenly stopped. He fell to his knees. And when he done that, I picked him up and his eyes was going back in his head like that, and he's struggling to breathe. David was gagging on a baby wipe stuck in his throat. I tried to get that thing out, and I couldn't reach it. I mean, Buckner figured calling 911 would take too long. And I just laid him up on the table, and he was already just in his lips was turning. Pretty rough seeing him like that. Uh, he grabbed a gift given to him by his daughter at Christmas that he had placed nearby and put it over David's mouth. That's a good Lord just showed me where it's at. That's all I can say. It's called a life vac. I put it on there, hit it twice, and it sucked it right out. Had I not had this right here, he would not be here. I know that. This just plain as I see you sitting there. He wants to spread the news now about a simple device that saves lives. That's my main objective, people. If you ain't got one, get one, especially if you got a toddler. 11 years later, 2,000 lives saved, over 1,100 children. LifeVac founder Arthur Lee says his invention is a simple suction device. So when you push down, the air vents out the side, so it can't push it further in. You pull it up, and it creates a suction and pulls out the obstruction. The Heimlich maneuver can also save lives, but Lee says not always, and difficult to perform on some people. That's where he says his LifeVac can help. It's an equalizer, so that if the procedures fail or they cannot be done, like a wheelchair or a bedridden person, uh, yeah, they, they have a chance. Buckner says it was the life act that's given David a second chance at life. The company sending him a teddy bear. <laughs> Buckner, a musician, contemplating writing a song about the experience. You know, I've thought about it. It's been in my mind, I, I sure have. I, a song, no doubt, reflecting the celebration of life. I'm just glad he's still here with me. In Haywood County, Rex Hodge, News 13.